Einstein called the universe a perfect mechanism. Just look at the flawless rules by which it operates. Light, sound, movement and collision, freezing and boiling, plant growth, electrical phenomena. You and I, as well as everything that's around us, are a part of this marvel. And there's so much to learn about it. But in order to do so, we must study it, measure it, analyze it. By doing so, we can benefit a great deal. We can examine faulty natural processes within our own human body. We can improve vehicle safety measures, create resources for alternative energy, monitor the air we breathe, the water we drink, we can reach the stars. One of the most common tools of the trade which allows scientists to measure and analyze nature is the sensor. In the not so distant past, the sensor would measure the physical quantity, but we'd need separate instruments, such as a data logger, to collect the data and store it. Not so here. The new log, neuron logger sensors, are the next generation of sensor technology combining a sensor with a data logger and a tiny computer inside the sensor. The result is a simple to use, plug and play, fully automated device. Let's see how it works. Here I have a new log light sensor, which means it measures light intensity and stores the data in its memory chip. I connect it to a computer using a USB adapter, and that's it. Within a few seconds, the software automatically identifies the connected sensor and immediately displays the measured values. Now, suppose I wanted to show a distance to light intensity ratio. With new log, this once elaborate process becomes a single simple task. You see, all new log sensors can be easily attached to each other. All I have to do is take a distance logger sensor and plug it in. As you can see, the software on the computer recognizes the added sensor. Let's see how the two sensors work together. Here we can see a beautiful example of the linear rise of the distance chart that corresponds directly with a nonlinear drop of the luminous intensity chart. This outcome is the result of the two sensors working in unison. The new log sensor enables us to take complex measures, for instance, measuring over considerably lengthy or brief time spans and in an ultra-fast measuring rate. Take our previous measure for room light. Supposedly, it was constant, but was it really? Let's set the measure time to 50 milliseconds and the sampling rate to 3,000 samples per second. Voila! It seems that there are indeed rapid light changes that are undetectable to the naked human eye. New log sensors connect easily using a USB plug and will look and behave identically with Windows, Mac, or Linux operating systems. Sensors may also be attached to Wi-Fi and operate on many platforms such as Windows, Mac, Linux, iPad, Android tablet, and even a smartphone. The application looks and behaves identically on all of them. Needless to say that no application download will ever be required. The Wi-Fi connection also allows students to monitor their teacher's demonstration on their computer, tablet, or smartphone via a viewer-only mode feed. The new log sensors can also store experiment measurements over a period of time, a day, a week, a month. Let's say I decided to explore a specific environment over a period of 24 hours. All I'd have to do is hook up light, humidity, and temperature logger sensors, connect them to a single battery, click once, and let it be. That is, leave them on location for a day worth of data collecting. I may wish to visit the sensors during their stay. I can do so without the need for any kind of computer. All I need in order to see how things are getting along is my portable touchscreen display module. It is an advanced plug-and-play display instrument that can program the logger sensor and display its data digitally and graphically. It is not, however, the actual brains in this pie. That would be the logger sensor itself. Now, everything you've seen so far is, well, just the tip of the iceberg. There's so many more sets of sensors. 
They include biology, chemistry, physics, earth science, environmental science, junior high studies, elementary school projects, and much more. Everything we need to lay the foundation stone to the continuous process of getting to know the world around us. They say that the entire world is a laboratory to the inquiring mind. Well, here are its instruments. 21st century education is heralding a new age of studying nature and science. And new law complements the most noble of human characteristics, the desire to know.